cleanup in the Kindersley area is now ongoing after this clipper system moved through the area yesterday, bringing freezing rain and whiteout conditions for over six hours. Cleanup started in the Kindersley area around 8.30 p.m. last night as the visibility improved. That work continues into today, clearing snow drifts packed in by those heavy wind gusts and clearing up stranded vehicles along the roadways. Highways in the area have opened back up after being closed most of last night. Tow trucks are out and cleaning up stranded vehicles. Towing companies in the area have responded to over 200 calls to service since last night and will be busy most of today. Emergency services in the area were also very busy with this system. Kindersley Fire Department responded to multiple calls through the evening, starting around 3.40 p.m. with a multi-vehicle collision on Highway 7 west of Kindersley involving a semi and passenger vehicles. It didn't take long last night for hotels to be filled up in the area from travelers that were stranded along the highways, some for seven hours or more while these roadways were cleared up enough for people to get on their way. I've gotten reports from some travelers on how bad the road conditions were. One traveler, it took six hours to get from Saskatoon to Kindersley, which on a typical day only takes about two hours. With the intensity of this system, it's easy to see why. Not only travelers were stranded, but people working in the area were left at their workplaces for hours following their shift end due to zero visibility, even around town. The heavy winds associated with these clipper systems can cause damage to buildings like the one you see behind me here in Etonia, Saskatchewan, where the roof has literally been peeled right back, as well as loose objects tossed from the heavy wind. While official wind reports are not available at this time, it is estimated that this Kindersley area saw winds of 96 to 125 kilometers an hour. These cooler temperatures are going to dip in for the next few days, but we should have a break from the stormy weather at least till the end of the week when the next system is due to arrive. Until then, I hope everybody stays safe out there. This is Jenny Hagen, and you can find me on all social media at Lost in SK.